since we have nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so actually this uh, session we, we plan to use Thai language to present. But if you guys are interested, then they can also present in English. Do you want to listen? Yes. Then, <laughs> then you have to ask questions later, okay? <laughs> if, if they already switched into English for you guys. Okay? <laughs> okay, so uh, today we have four presenters. One from uh, Yunlin University. Uh, Yunlin Technology University. And um, he will do the why do people believe? in online fake news and disinformation. This is a very trendy topic for us nowadays, right? Miss uh, Siripapa Jithanukun. Okay. And the second, we have uh, Professor Jirat Hiran Raz from Chiang Mai University. He will present Multifunctionality of the work, uh, the word gan in Thai. Yes. And the third presenter, uh, Professor Somnut Chong Chong is uh, from Bangkok and he will present water grabbing the minute. No, from Chonburi. <laughs> Sorry, from Chonburi. And he will present the topic of water grabbing dominate by EEC Development Zone. Effect of precipita uh, precipitation on drought conditions of plants in East Coast and Tunnel Sap Watersheds, Thailand. And the uh, fourth presenter is uh, Professor Chawadon Gekgao, uh, also from Chiang Mai University. Uh, he will present the topic of tone melody correspondence of Tonal languages in Southeast Asia. Okay, so each each of uh, four presenter will have like twelve minutes to present, and then we will discuss and open or open to question. Yeah. Okay. So we will start with the um, why do people believe in online fake news and disinformation? ก็อีกความมองดิฟิคอลต์ทูคอนโทรลเดอะทรานส์มิชชั่นออฟเฟกนิวส์อันนี้เป็นตัวอย่างเฟกนิวส์ที่ผมหามาย้อนกลับไป
ฟกนิวคือโจมตีฮินารีดักเลยมีข่าวปลอมว่าพระสันตปาปาซัพพอร์ตโดนทำบ้างแล้วก็มีเมลลุดเกี่ยวกับการฟอกเงินแล้วบอกว่าไอซิปซัพพอร์ตฮินารีบอกว่าเออฮินารีซัพพอร์ตเว็บปอนดูแล้วก็บอกว่าไปเจอลังลังเทกาเลือกคะแนนเลือกฮินารีอยู่ในโคดังลับอะไรเงี้ยเราก็ทำสำเร็จคนกันเชื่อแล้วก็โดนทำได้เป็นทางดีต่อโอเค and back to the Thailand country Thailand internet users account for 82% of the total population Thai h o u s e spend a lot of time on 11 hours on the internet according to the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society statistics over 600 users for face news and disinformation and 20 million users had face news and disinformation And over 90% are between 18 and 34 years old. Social media has been believed to have had an influence on the public discussion and communication in society in recent years. Social media network, in, in particular, allow users to not only share general information but also to spread at least three fake news and this this information. As a leader, it is essential to consider fake news and this information factor efficiently and effectively. And the purpose of this study to investigate the relationship between these factors and to identify the key factors that lead people to believe in fake news and disinformation. As a later review, in our later review, we study the existing resource and the truth and the factor that we think that the view in fact uh, I will show some of the factor the first one source in the group of the software credibility credibility is a perceived attribute of the information system it has been described as the reliability perceived credibility collectiveness knowledge and is that with the validity of other meaning And another one, as some group, is in the group of behavior in the information system. It is concerned with how people look at and, and utilize information, the loop via which information is obtained, and the verbal that influence information seeking behavior. And in the third group, is content based. The example is linguistic. Linguistic is mean connected with the language like the headline, pronouns, preposition, verb, in an article, and the next example also in a content-based group is the g o f f i t Its definition is like a p e r i o d image in f a c e n e w depending on the user preference. And the last group is social contact. The example is f a c e n e w o v e r n e s s The knowledge of social network use of the workers' news exists and may be common and be, may be common in his or her network. As the research method, the data was collected from the 15 experts in the IT and smart media industry who are familiar with the value from of the new and technology, as well as academic experts with a research interest in the tourism, mass communication, and vertical science. It is study and. Uh, We employ f a s i l i t a t o r The next part, data analysis and results. Since the f a c t o r w e r e identified through the literature review data on the inter interrelationship between and of element factors, uh, we collected this linguistic version and combined using the CFCS to get t h e s number and the, that indicate the degree to which factors have a direct influence on one another. Several additional important tools can be obtained from the figure run to use in decision making for this cause and its relationship that can be discussed next. Uh, actually, we, we have the table analysis in many tables, and I, with a limited time, I choose this figure to conclude the results. Uh, the results suggest that credibility, information seeking, linguistic, a s p e c t and fake news awareness are all the factors that impact other factors that lead people to believe in the fake news and these informations. 
uh, the part ne next part discussion and explanation. Um, in the before implementation, this study contributed to a literature by providing a clinical factors that led people to religious personnel and disinformation on social media. Um, as a result, credibility, information seeking, linguistic, governance, and fake new awareness are all considered constructive elements that put people to believe the news and disinformation on the social media. This element have a direct impact on the others. And the managerial implications. The first one, Thai government go to school to teach students about fake news and disinformation on it, as is done in the United Kingdom, Singapore, and Finland, but is it taught from the childhood. And the second one, this study provides indication on how much the way the government should be enhanced. And the third, this study will assist Thai people initially assessing the important length of the fake news feature, as well as the providing leader with a report ability to alert fake news feature value in news and the credibility of the online media vary according to its design structure. At the last one, government and private sector organizations should priority communications, especially when it comes to the fake news and disinformation. Officials can provide the his qualifications in terms of the individual, they must acquire analytical and critical thinking skills as well as ensure that the new sources can be checked. And the limitation and future regulations. And the limitation is what while our research can provide valuable insight into the factor that we have to believe in the fake news and disinformation, it has some limitations. The first one we did our stu study with a focus on Thailand as ex exclusively used as an expert in Thailand. It's conceivable that our findings don't apply to every country. The second one, the finding of this study highly factor that the Thai government and people should consider to validate the finding future researchers may view on this study to explore another component. And the third one, our study of fake news and disinformation must be coordinated at the update consensus to develop, promote, and ensure the process of overall awareness of fake news and disinformation. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, today I'm going to present about my research. Actually, it is a linguistic research, but I try to reduce the use of technical terms as much as I can. Okay, my topic is multifunctionality of the word gun in Thai. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure whether you under, uh, know Thai or not. No, okay. Uh, some no. Some no Thai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, normally Thai language is like um, isolating language like Chinese. So that means that one word will have uh, more than one meaning in itself. It's not like in English that we have to try to um, put a suffix into the word and make it have new meanings. But in Thai, it's like, okay, this word is gun. Uh, linguistically, words in Thai are not functional or polysemous. Well, the polysemous means that it has several related meanings in this word. To identify the meaning or function of the word, we have to um, understand the context or the innate meaning of the word itself. Okay. 
can is one of them, one of the words that have multiple functions. Okay, let me show you the example of the first one. Um, Shan ka ter god gun mean I and you hack and gun. I do not uh, translate gun here. And the translation is that we hack each other. When we use gun, we use it to mark the action that two participants perform the same action toward each other. So basically, gun here is equal to each other in English. See, this one, fun this function is called reciprocal. And we don't have a word reciprocal in Thai, so I have to use the list term. But then, look at the second example. Shan kapter kin kanom gun. I with you eat snack gun. Now, the translation is like we eat snacks together. So, the action of eat does not perform toward each other anymore. But it's like two participants, I and you, perform the same action as a team together. This function we will call collective. So, how do we know that can, when we use can, which function of it in the sentence? That is hard for the Thai learners. But in fact, for both native speakers of Thai and Thai learners, using can is really simple. It's not complicated at all. We can place it right after the verb, like we kiss can. Like mother, a uh, father and mother go visiting can. And we can use can with a sentence that have plural subject only. Since we have, like, when we use can, we have to involve with the situation that have two people. So we can say that we look I can mean we look I for each other. But we cannot say shan tam can ban can means I do homework can. It's ungrammatical. These symbols mean that this sentence is unacceptable by a native Thai speaker. But the fact that can is quasi obligatory means that uh, without it, the sentence can become ambiguous. Ambiguous means that it can be translated into more than one sense. Like, if I say that A and B marry at age 20 without can here, the interpretation of this sentence can be that A and B marry with each other. But also it can mean A and B married, but married with their own spouse, not married with each other. So the existence of gun is obligatory means necessary, but if we don't have it, it will open to ambiguous, ambiguity. Okay, so I, my objective is that in this research, I want to identify every possible function of the word gun in Thai and show how they are related. Because if we say that it's multifunction, that means the functions of this word have to extend it from one meaning to other meaning. And I'm sure that Chinese has this kind of phenomena too. Okay, I collect data from various sources, such as from online corpus. It's like a program that if you enter the keyword, the visual or possibility, all the examples of the word, the keyword that you type in. I'm also calling the data from novel. Like the novel that, I call it from the Japanese novel that is translated into Thai. Thai original novel. And also the non-novel. It's like a textbook of economies to see you that uh, the occurrence of gun have which function of it. And then I also collect data from video clip. It's in the video clips that I have like two participants um, engaged in the action that should be described by the word gun. This, is, this one is a, like we elicit data from the speaker directly. And last one, I use the technique like using a storyboard 
and show it to the participant, to the informants, and let them explain the picture one by one to get how or whether they use gun or not, or if they use gun, which function of it they use, like that. So the finding is that we have five five primary functions of the word gun. Like the first first one is reciprocal marker, collective marker that has already shown in the first slide, and the third one adverbial expression, linking phrase, and pragmatic marker that I will try to explain to you later. Elizabeth Trogott said that the meanings extension of um, this the words is unilinear, which means that um, it starts from propositional meaning. Propositional meaning is like the general meaning that you find in dictionary. And then it extends into textual meaning to like the grammatical function of the word, like conjunction, preposition, like that. And then it develops into interpersonal meaning. Interpersonal meanings mean that the expression, the attitude of the speaker, the word that's like um, exclamation, like that. Like, ouch, oh my god. It's, oh, okay. Okay, for, as for the typical marker, gun is like a pronoun. We can combine two sentences like A like B and B like A. And then we use this participants, combine it into subject position, and leave the object empty, and then replace it with gun. And A, B like gun means A, B like each other. This is the most common function, because they have the highest frequency when we find in their data. And we also have alternative forms, like the longer version of it, like gun and gun, like that. But it's equal to the simple gun. Okay, it indicates mutual event that two participants to uh, have performed some action toward each other. And then we have collective marker. Now it's not at, it's not pronoun anymore. It's an adverb. So they they come and can you know how kids do work gun in the room. Now the object of the verb tam exists in the sentence and. So that means gun does not refer to any participants in the subject position anymore. And then we have uh, when we use gun as adverbial expression, which means that we use gun with particular verbs, and this expression modify the whole sentence in front of it. Now we to people walk equal guns does not mean that we equal each other, but it means that both of us walk equally. So the participant is not entity, but the participant is a whole event, two sub-events that combine into one event. So this. When we use gun as an adverbial expression, we can indicate identicalness between sub-events in various dimensions. We can say that the Klai gun means walk similarly, same manner. The Luong gun means walk cooperative, walk together. The Thao gun means walk equally, like when you want to measure the length of the walk. The Prom gun simultaneity means walk at the same time. The entire gun means walk nearby each other. So it can share the dimension of how the situation of walking are matched with the other walking. And then we can use gun as the blinking phrase. Uh, we can say that the, the first one is like, I watch television. And then the second one is like, I listen to the music. So this is two incidents. Normally, the incidence is shown in front of the word gun, but now you can see that in the moment single gun is formed the phrase, is combined into the fixed phrase, prepositional phrase, but they relate to incidents that occur in front and after the word itself. This is a, this is a huge change in syntax of type. The internal structure of phrase is very strict. We can combine this word with gun 
and the meaning equivalent to English mean, mean Y, likewise, conversely, and oppositely. And this word will uh, give you information about the moment, the manner, or the direction. And when combined with this word, we say that, okay, in moment, same mean, mean Y. In manner, reverse, that means conversely, like that. So we have a fixed, fixed internal structure of the phrase. The last one is very difficult for even for Thai native speaker. Because in actual conversation, we Thai speaker use an expression leo kan in front of the sentence. Like leo kan mean finish kan. Why negative? Uh, tell mother in first. Why don't you tell me before? So the problem of even if you ask Thai native speaker, they cannot answer who is the participant of this verb. Lao means finish. So they do not link to any participants anymore. Since the phrase itself used for speaker to express their attitude towards the what happened next. So when we use Lao Gan, it means that it express okay, last one. The surprise and disappointment of the speaker. We can say that Lao Gan, the snack it is not delicious. We can use this in sentence like this. But we cannot say Lao Gan, the snack is delicious. Now if you said this sentence to Thai speaker, they will say that uh, it's really strange. So in this research, in conclusion, we have five primary functions of gun, and what I try to do is to map it into some kind of meaning map, meaning uh, semantic extension. So we have reciprocal marker, and oh, sorry, this one has to be collective marker. That's developed into adverbial expression and turned into the linking phrase. While the collective sense developed into the, no, not the adverbial expression, is mistake into the pragmatic marker like Leo Kan. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any question? Me come time. Kan makeup? Means do you have any question? Later we will open for the Okay, Prof. Actually, this word precipitation is rainfall. Uh, it's associated vaporization uh, in Thai. Nam fa nam fun. Nam fa it ai nam. Nam fun. Raining. Uh, in my uh, Chinese language, lock ho. Uh, okay. <laughs> On drought condition, drought is being no water, uh, very dry. Yeah. Of plant in east coast and tall lands of uh, watershed. Watershed is basin or lung nam in Thai. Okay. We studying about the drought condition in east coast of Thailand and Tolesa. Tolesa is the basin between Thailand.